Hi, this is Catspoke with my lab partner. Hi! And we're here today to give you guys our distance learning lab challenge. And the challenge is this. You need to get a plastic Ziploc bag and use a chemical reaction to fill it completely with gas. You need to make sure that your chemical reaction itself is the thing that's filling it with gas and that it fills it completely and doesn't pop. Okay, now of course you don't want to have any holes in your Ziploc bag and I want to challenge you guys to use a special Ziploc bag of any kind um, and any size and you're going to be using just the equipment that you have in your kitchen. So what do you need to do this lab? You need, first of all, vinegar, all right, yeah. and you need, what's this? Baking soda. You need baking soda and you're going to need some kind of way to measure the baking soda all right, so we have some teaspoon, half teaspoon, fourth of a teaspoon, measuring spoons, these kind of things. All right, and you're going to need to have some kind of measuring cup so you can measure liquids. All right, that is it. That's all you need for this challenge. All right, and you might be wondering, well, how do I do that? What are my procedures for this lab? Well, I want you guys to think about it, okay? Do you want to figure out how to fill up this bag or any bag, one, you know, some kind of special bag perfectly the first time using the chemistry that you've learned. You're going to combine your knowledge of chemical reactions, acid-base chemistry, stoichiometry, solutions, and gases, and combine that together so that you can perfectly fill this bag or any bag that you have the first time completely without popping with gas. All right, so, um, let me give you guys a few hints for doing this, okay? I'm not going to tell you everything that you need to do, but let me just give you guys a few hints. The first is this. And Gloria, can you tell me what is this? Baking soda, vinegar, um, water, mm -hmm. carbon dioxide. Very good. Yes, this is the chemical reaction that you guys are going to be doing, right? We're going to be mixing baking soda together with vinegar. And when they react, they're going to make water, carbon dioxide gas, and sodium acetate. Okay, so your vinegar here, the main component or the, the acidic component of vinegar is acetic acid. Um, and when you mix acetic acid together with baking soda, it's going to be making water, carbon dioxide, and sodium acetate. Okay, so this is your chemical reaction that you guys should be able to figure out. Maybe you've seen it before, maybe not. But anyway, that's your chemical reaction, all right? And you're going to need to use that, think about that, do stoichiometry with this reaction, all right, in order to figure out how much of each of these reactants that you need in order to fill up this bag completely with gas, okay? Now, one more thing that I want to say, um, we don't want to have either of the reactants in excess, okay? Neither one of these reactants should be in excess. You need to have them in perfect stoichiometry. All right, so a couple more hints that I'm going to give you guys. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to determine the volume of your bag. Now everybody should be using a slightly different bag. Um, now if you use sandwich bags or whatever, that's fine. Whatever type of bag you want to use. If you want to use the big gallon bags, that's awesome. But you can use whatever kind of bag you want. Determine the volume of it. Now the first hint is the volume is not going to be exactly the same as what it says on the box. So if the box says that these are quart bags, it's not going to be one quart. That's incorrect. I have verified and measured the volume of this and it was significantly more than what they said on the box. Okay? So do not believe the volume on the box. Secondly, do not ask Surrey, Google, or anybody else, any friend or anybody, how to figure out the volume of this bag. You're going to need to have some kind of equivalence or some kind of conversion factor between your um, amount of baking soda and mass of baking soda. And so I measured this several times and I found out that one teaspoon of baking soda has a mass of about 5.1 grams. All right. Now everybody's baking soda might be a little bit different, depends on the brand. I'm using Arm & Hammer. Um, now it depends on the brand. So it might be a little bit different from that, but I'm going to think it's going to be pretty close to 5 grams per teaspoon for baking soda. Okay. Next up you are going to need to also figure out the molarity of your vinegar. All right? Molarity of your vinegar. All right, so you want to hold the vinegar for us? Yeah, there we go. All right, so my vinegar is 5% vinegar. And we can just go ahead and assume that that 5% is a mass percent 
of acetic acid in water and you need to convert that 5% to a molarity. Most vinegars are 5%, but yours is not necessarily 5%. So look in the label, it's almost definitely gonna tell you a percent. It'll probably be four or five or 6% or something like that. Um, most of them are 5%, and you'll need to somehow convert that 5% to a molarity. That way, once you have the mass of the baking soda and the molarity of your vinegar, you can finally calculate the exact amounts of each of your reactants that you need to have exact stoichiometry for the reaction. Now, last of all, and pretty important, is this. Um, we're going to assume that our reaction is going to be less than 100% perfect, okay? You're not going to get 100% yield out of this. And if you do it for 100% yield, for everything working perfectly, you're going to find that your bag will not completely fill. Okay, that's because as the reaction progresses, it's going to slow down, slow down, slow down, and it's probably not going to be 100%. I would assume something like around 80% yield, and you can figure that out. All right, you're going to make reasonable assumptions for the temperature and for the pressure. I'm not going to tell you what to assume. You guys can make reasonable assumptions yourself for the temperature and pressure, and make sure you are assuming about 80% 80, 80 or so yield for your reaction. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get started. When you combine the chemicals in the bag, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you put them on two different parts in the bag, okay? Because if you combine them before you zip this up, you're gonna lose a whole bunch of the gas, all right? So let's measure this out, all right? And um, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and put the baking soda in here first. So make sure you measure carefully, get the exact amount of baking soda that you need. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it right there, kind of in the middle somewhere, so the two sides don't mix. All right, and then we're going to lean it over this way and put the vinegar on the other side. So Gloria, do you wanna hold it or do you wanna pour it in? You're gonna pour it in, you're gonna hold it. Here, I can hold it, and you gotta be really, really careful here. You're gonna pour it in, no spilling, okay? So pour that in. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we got them in two different sides. They are not mixing. Put that down. Thank you very much. A little All right, drip. now let's try to. Drip a little drip. That's okay. Yeah. No big deal. All right, now let's try to. Can you close this? We want to squeeze out all the air. We don't want to have any excess air. You kind of need a partner to help you out with this. All right, so you got to make sure the top is perfectly zipped up. All right, there we go. It's mixing so a we got the teensy bit. Awesome. So we're gonna let it mix now. So let's let it mix, and let's Ooh. see if it fills up. Now, Gloria, is this the first time we've tried this? Yes. So we've never tried this before. Mhm. Mm right. So this is our very first attempt. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works perfectly. All right. Whoa! How's that feel? Feel. The reaction looks like it is just about done to me. We are 100% perfectly full. Now notice, I assumed that this reaction is not going to work perfectly, so that's why I've got this nice and full bag, but it's not popping. Okay? How's it's that? It's like a balloon. It's like a balloon. Of. Is that perfectly full, Gloria? What? Uh, yeah? Yes. Don't forget. In order to get full credit for this lab, you need to show all of your calculations, okay? And you need to take a video of the very first time you attempt this. This is not a guess and check kind of lab. This is do your calculations and then show me that your calculations actually worked perfectly, okay? Right, Gloria? Right. All right, and bonus, get a special bag, all right? So you don't have to do that, but if you want some bonus points here, get a special bag. This is your airbag distance learning challenge. All right, are you ready? Well, it doesn't matter. You're gonna do it anyway. All right, so that's it. 